Hey guys, Silence Cell here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross update video. So I'm sure most of you guys who have been keeping up with me on Instagram will probably know what's going on for the upcoming month of October, which is what we are here to discuss about. So if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, please do so. Um, that's basically the platform that I'm currently updating all my stuff nowadays um, since Facebook no longer wants me to do so <laughs> on Facebook. So anyways, Yes, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, so for those of you who have been following me on Instagram will probably know that there is a poll that's going on right now um, you know, to decide on the upcoming featured 6-star episode plate for Freya's birthday. So make sure you guys go on to Twitter, you know, put in your vote for whichever episode plate you want to see featured within that step up gacha but of course you have to decide between um, whether you want it for costume points or do you want it for the live skills of the episode plate and make sure of course uh, the total score on the episode plate is actually of its highest um, you know property all right so with all that said I'm sure those of you who have been following me on Instagram I cannot emphasize enough that you should follow me on Instagram um, we'll know that the upcoming song for the month of October, the very first event, is featuring the brand new song for the upcoming Macross Delta movie. Um, it has been announced for quite some time already. And yes, it's going to be a five unit performance song. So this will be the second song on Uta Macross that allows us to use all five divas from Valkyrie. Of course, you can mix things up uh, if you like to have the original other five uh, Macross Divas and Basara <laughs> to do the live. So as you can tell here on the wiki page, they have already um, slated when each of the div um, not say Divas, uh, each of the events is going to happen. So the first event of October is going to happen on the 30th of um, September, which is another two days time. So hopefully you guys are ready for it. Um, then of course the repeat event, then the red boss event, then we have the high score um, versus event. So yeah, as you can tell here in the silhouette image, um, all five divas are technically wearing their brand new costume um, that's actually designed by Mita Chisato. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Then of course, we are finally returning back to getting Valkyries. So that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many Valkyrie improvement um, items to use. I'm maxed out on them actually, uh, considering that we've been having background images for the last two months uh, rather than Valkyries. So, yes, we are getting Hayate's brand new Kairos Valkyrie um, that is featured in the upcoming movie as well. And it's also the first Valkyrie to get its DX Chogokin uh, model from the brand new Macross Delta line. So yes, um, then moving along, of course, we, as we have seen the countdown images from the official Uta Macross wiki, um, we know that the brand new costumes that was featured in the brand new trailer is coming to the game, which is kind of fast. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe we won't get these costumes like a year later. Um, but apparently, I guess Big West has decided to promote the movie through the game as well. So we're getting the costumes very, very early. So yes, two of the divas out of the five, as you can tell, Reina and Makina's costumes are not in the first event of the month. So Freya and Mikumo. But if you're wondering, where is Kaname's? <laughs> well, Kaname fans. Uh, I think you you guys are safe for now. You can save up for your waifu's costume in the future. But sadly to say, it seems like Kaname's costume is going to be another seven star episode plate. Unlike Freya, I mean, unlike Reina's and Makina's, uh, which are appearing during um, the second event of the month and the Red Boss event. So only these two costumes are six star episode plates. So that's kind of a bummer. So and one of them, uh, if I'm not wrong, I think. Usually the uh, episode plate that is only usable by that diva is either the last event of the month nowadays. So it's either Kaname or Milane's episode plate that's going to be the single diva use episode plate. So that's kind of a bummer. But you know, at least 
all five costumes are not entirely locked behind seven star episode plates, which is fantastic. Uh, it's gonna be very, uh, you know, not that expensive to pull out the full set. But still, uh, three out of five, it's still kind of a heavy weight on the wallet. So, yes, Freya fans, Mikumo fans, you guys are up first. Um, you have to toss in a bit of cash, you know, if you want to get your waifu's brand new costume um, that's locked behind a 7 star episode plate. So it's kind of funny to see like um, 3 out of 5 costumes like blinking in the background because 7 star episode plates. Unless Dana decides to include this brand new function to allow us to remove the Kira effect on 7 star costumes uh, while doing live performances like they usually do in their Air Macross performance on YouTube. You know, who knows? In the future. So yeah, so take note guys, of all the brand new costumes, we are only getting 4 of them out of 5. So Kaname fans, just save your money for the month of November. Um, yeah, until your waifu's gacha comes around. And for the month of Halloween, doing the Red Boss event, we are getting uh, Sharon Ohm and Milane's exclusive costume for the Halloween comp combo. Um, so I'm not sure whose song is going to take priority. Is it a Macross 7 song or is it a Macross Frontier song? I hope it's a Macross 7 song because, you know, Macross 7 hasn't been getting much love recently. Um, apparently this month, Milane is getting double feature with the last event of the month as well. So that's pretty nice. And of course, we're still going with this uh, Alice in Wonderland theme um, that we've been going with for the last two years so that's not too bad so um, yeah so take note of all the ad additional banners of course this one is a repeat event um, so that's you know basically for this two costumes um, well at least one of them then of course Min Mei's birthday step up gacha um, then of course take note of the featured episode plate that most players want um, I do have this episode plate fully evolved and it's pretty decent um, you know in terms of stats and all that so and of course if you guys have been paying attention ever since I've announced the um, brand new step up gacha from the last video uh, we have already gotten two other diva variations of those step up gacha so you have to pay attention to who else is coming out within the month of October um, we've already gone through three divas, so technically we're going to go through the Frontier Ladies and of course the, the, the Valkyrie Ladies as well in the month of October. So our Cheryl fans, Ranka fans, and I don't know, maybe, maybe Freya? I don't know. See how they want to go through the characters. Um, but aside from that, I'm sure most of you who have been paying attention to what I've been saying in the last few videos or even on Instagram, you probably know that, you know, Dana is really trying to market the game hard and, you know, to, to earn the money from the fans through all these brand new step-up gachas or the you know, promotional events for the upcoming movie and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below or in, on Instagram, you know, wherever. I, I can be found on social media. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on all the current events that's going on uh, in the world of Macross. There's still the Macross Frontier Live Revenge concert as well. Uh, and then of course, the concert is being streamed worldwide uh, online. So hopefully you guys have bought your tickets. If you don't know how, let me know in the comments as well if you need me to create a video on how to purchase the tickets online. Um, so, you know, you can watch the stream uh, on the 8th of October this coming month. So yeah, a lot of things are coming. <laughs> Sorry, not October. I mean, uh, the tickets go on sale until then. Uh, the, 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 the live stream is going to happen in November. I, 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 keep for, I keep messing up the dates. I'm very bad with dates. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, there are a lot of things going on. There's like three magazines featuring Macross as well. Uh, and oh my goodness, there's just so many things going on in the world of Macross right now. It's, it's, 
it's a happy time, but it's a sad time for the wallets of all the Macross fans. Anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Utah Macross Update Videos. As usual, do the nice wonderful stuff, like, share, subscribe, and of course follow me on Instagram. Uh, once again, I'll probably tone down on all the reminders about Instagram soon. Uh, yeah, but you know, you have to bring it to attention to everybody who is like playing the game and all that kind of stuff if you want to keep up to date you know with uh, all the content that's coming out anyway guys until then bye